Hi guys and welcome to Taylor Talk. So we're going to be covering Amberlynn Reed, uh, story of what happened after the breakup. Yes, guys. If yeah, this probably is true. I'm still cynical, but now she's put it out there. She is going to milk. This is the first time she's got really fantastic views. Um, the breakup video it has got ninety at this current moment has ninety four k. And Amber, we all know that Amber hasn't seen those numbers in a long time. Or well, hypothetic facts sees those numbers every day. But I digress. Okay, so now she's let the cat out of the bag. She's let the wasabi out of the bag. Um, it, you know, everybody knows. And now she's going to milk this for as long as she possibly can. So this is what happened after the breakup. Let's take a look. Hey guys, so I was trying to find a time when I wasn't crying because that's literally all I've been doing. Um, that's all Feline has been doing. I finally took my first shower since the breakup. Why is it important to constantly say that wifey's been crying? Like, she hasn't been crying this much. She dumped you. She hasn't been crying that much. Like, she's been weeping in her pillow every night. It's just a hell of a good performance until she can get out of there. Um, today is the 6th. We broke up on the 4th. and So she hasn't showered in two days. Why, why admit that to people? Especially when you're the first person. You're constantly you know, saying, I've just had a shower, I've just had a shower today. Has somebody made a, I've just had a shower today compilation? Because she's the first girl to be like, I've just had a shower, I've just washed my hair, I've, you know, I've just had a shower and now I'm getting checked. Like, oh God. Back to square one. I'm a daily shower type of girl. I don't think I've skipped a shower and I don't- Stop, li stop lying. Stop it. It's been a hot minute, so- Stop stop that it doesn't even matter but i'm just saying why 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 would you bring this into the conversation you you know that your hygiene is a hot dirty grimy topic why would you bring it into the conversation amber the fact that i was able to shower i am glad about that i just feel super like everything doesn't matter things seem so pointless right now um and feline did give me permission to share as much as i want and well yeah because she wants you to make that money and that kind of shocked me to be honest because she is very private um but she knows this is also something that i'm but she's also leaving you so of course she's not gonna care going through i first want to just say like thank you guys so much for the support like i have gotten so many messages and i did I so many girls trying to slide into the dms wanting to be becky or wifey number two i'm guessing glance at the comments and it's just pouring with support of course there are people who are very in really because a lot of them are telling you I, t I told you so and that the reason why he's left you is because you've given up on life but you know maybe we're you know but then again I haven't clicked on the comment section uh in a, in a while like since yesterday insensitive um that comes with the territory but I just appreciate the support so much I am only one person here um and I haven't been the most independent person in my life, obviously, but it doesn't matter if you're super independent. If you're not, sometimes you just need someone to, like, care. But Amber, you, she said she had friends here. She said she, has fr she had friends in Kentucky. That What about that friend that did your Instagram questions? He not exist, no? And... To feel like so many people it's just crazy how she we all know people like that but it's so crazy how she can casually lie and then the next day it gets exposed as a lie hair is just it's really it's helps in a weird way there are a lot of rumors happening which i do understand because like i I 
I am being like kind of vague to protect Feline because I love her a lot. Um, but there are a few things I want to clear up. People saying like, she broke up with me. No, people say- She she absolutely did. Otherwise you wouldn't be crying and literally saying how much you wanted to give her the world. Like she, she dumped you. You're never going to admit it though. Never. You, you, this is the same woman that says that she refused weight loss surgery after it was offered instead of just telling people that she was declined for the surgery. Do you really think with her amount of pride that she's going to tell people that wifey dumped her? No, of course she's not. Of course she's... Anne Boleyn is always going to try to spin the the most imaginary fantasy narrative that she can her pride would never let her admit the truth this is the same woman that is 500 pounds and doesn't admit to sweat it to sweating like normal people she she glistens like a like a unicorn there's no you know this is a woman who can't admit that she sweats so of course she's gonna lie and say that it was a mutual decision and they mutually decided to part it's because she's poly no like people saying that she's in a relationship another one like found someone else no none of these things are true at all but really how would amber know if wifey was cheating on her she may check her phone but may wifey may have um, um a couple of phones if if she, wifey was cheating amber would never know Amber can't get in a car, get an Uber, and stalk Wifey 24 hours a day. How would she know if Wifey was cheating? Oh, Feline is a great person, but I feel like I wasn't happy because there were things that were happening. And I know she wasn't happy and mutually this has been something that we i don't believe amber for one minute have talked about about breaking up um trying to fix things and it's hard when one person fixes or tries to fix things more than the other person and like i don't want to point fingers and anything like that but a lot of people think that she's leaving me because i didn't get weight loss surgery or because of my weight or because of that no no I but the thing is amber if you were like a size 14 or a size 16 would wifey have left i know it's probably easier to believe but oh it's extremely easier to believe because that's what happened for the first time in my life, I understand the saying, sometimes you need more than love, or sometimes love can only take you so far, because I am absolutely and utterly in love with Feline, and she is absolutely and utterly- That's a lie. Really in love with me. Why does, why does, she? she's trying to convince herself here. It, it's like the way that Foodie looks to the side when she's lying blatantly. It's like, let's repeat why does she have to constantly answer for Feline for Feline slash wifey she has to constantly say you know I love wifey for with all my heart wifey loves me too um I'm absolutely devastated by what happened wifey's devastated too she really doesn't know how wifey's feeling she doesn't when when Amber's you know and asleep in the in the room wifey could be in the living room doing cartwheels and backflips because she's so happy amber doesn't know shit she really doesn't but she likes to pretend that she does yesterday was very hard for her um she has not drank in over a year because when i stopped drinking she also because i am absolutely and utterly in love with feline and she is absolutely and utterly in love with me if she's so in love why is wifey packing her bags yesterday was very hard for her um she has not drank in over a year because when i stopped drinking she also stopped and she got extremely why do i believe that so why do i i question that very much 
extremely drunk yesterday and I had to take care of her. I, I was very worried. Um, there was a moment where I almost called 911 because like I didn't know what to do. But we both agreed that there is no more alcohol to be coming in this home. She regrets drinking that hard, but she is trying to numb her pain. She is hurting too. She doesn't want to lose me and she regrets, she just regrets things. And this is probably like, I'm, a, I'm an immature person. You guys know that. I'm it sounds more and more that wifey could have cheated, but again, this could be a narrative, again, a fake narrative, a PR narrative that Amber's trying to spin. Very childish at heart, and I do childish things, but this is probably one of the most mature things I've ever done, and it is ripping me to pieces. It's ripping me. But putting, putting this online is hardly, like, mature i mean this is a cash grab like when feline looked at me today and she was crying and i was just like what's hurting you the most and she said i honestly thought it was you and what she meant by that is like through our whole relationship like we had plans of getting married and we even had a venue picked out and oh my goodness you know, I was never ready for that proposal, and I've talked about that. She's She's been ready for, for that uh, proposal since Destiny. She's going to try and pretend like she's not ready for marriage, but marriage has always been the goal for Amber. I think even without the weight gain, even if Amber was just, you know, size 4, size, let's say she was a size 16 to 18, what marriage would always be the goal for Amber because she what the bride is the center of attention and she wants to be the center of attention that's it for and a lot of people were confused because marriage is something I've always kind of talked about and it's because of the problems but it was still something that I did want with her if she worked on herself and we were able to grow together and notice guys her subscriber count has gone up she's gone up a thousand that is something i wanted and it was something we always said to each other that it's you it's always been you the one that saying says like love isn't enough sometimes love isn't enough and that is like the most mature way of looking at some things i've never understood it before that two people could be so in love with each other but still not be right for each other. Like this has been like the hardest thing that I've ever had to do, like. In the next 20 seconds, you can take action to save our planet. I work at Friends of the Earth. <sighs> I have random moments where I'm just like completely numb, completely numb. And then I have other moments where my heart hurts so bad, it makes me feel like I'm gonna puke. Like I literally feel Amber, that could be because you're 530 something pounds. That probably has nothing to do with heartbreak. Physically ill and- Sorry guys, this has been nothing but jab after jab after jab. I'm sorry. This is, I am, I am too mean for these reactions, honestly. I know Feline's feeling the same way and- How would you know that she's feeling the same way? She's constantly trying to- self-soothe herself by saying i feel like shit but wifey feels the same way you don't know you do not know that it's just she's trying to sell this love story nobody's buying what you're selling nobody's buying that sloppy chili soup that you're cooking no but nobody's buying that you were the the jack and rose of the uh you know of the girl world universe nobody's believing you were the romeo and juliet you were the romeo and juliet or juliet and juliet of the girl world universe nobody believes it like she used you for for lego and and jordans and clothes i have to she wiped you in return like, this was a very transactional relationship. Every relationship that Amber has is transactional. Oh, sorry, oops. <laughs> Love isn't enough sometimes. 
love isn't enough. And that is like the most mature way of And it's just, I have to keep reminding myself why I'm doing this. And it's so freaking hard. So freaking hard. And there's just so many steps that I have to take now. And it's like I'm hurting more for Feline than I am for myself because seeing her this heartbroken, like I, I've i never seen this side of her. And I just wanna like hold her and kiss her and love her and I know that I can't, I know that I shouldn't. And she slept on the couch again last night because I don't wanna sleep in the same bed as her because I need to detach myself. And she kept saying how badly she wanted to come crawl into bed with me and I'm just so glad she didn't, like I'm so glad she didn't. Because I would have caved. <laughs> or at least I feel like I would have. But it's just like... I wonder if that was the goal that she had when she kind of forced Destiny and forced Becky to stay in the bed. Kind of, if they stay in the bed, then there's less like I can kind of... Not seduce, but I can kind of convince them to stay kind of thing. Something has to change. I want her to be fully happy and I want me to be fully happy. Like I, <laughs> Felina's worked so hard. Like she is one of the most hardworking people I've ever known. Like so many people have this like misconception of her. Like she don't pay bills. She don't do this. She don't, that, that's bullshit lies. Like that's just all made up for the entertainment by reaction channels. Feline is the most it's also because you literally paid for her way and paid for every object in her, their, in her life since she got to Kentucky. It's not crazy that people say that she doesn't pay for anything. Plus, allegedly, she's got a lawsuit going on. Giving person. What, so, Amber, why do you think wifey's th wifey was there for two years? And she... You know, because you have the money that could pay for her lifestyle. You could buy her things and, you know, all she had to do was play carer and you you would buy her anything that she wanted. Holds her own. She holds her own. She even holds me sometimes, like... That's, that's a lie. You're the breadwinner. You know, I'm not really someone who needs help financially and I'm grateful for that. I'm very, very grateful. But, like, you know, the whole weight loss surgery thing and, like, I'm just like such a very giving person where I'm like, oh, you don't have to like pay for rent. It's totally fine. And she's like, no, literally paying for half. I'm paying for all half of the bills. Like she's just the most hardworking person. And it's like, I don't want her to be hardworking just to fucking pay rent. I want her to be able to live and to live her. Guys, doesn't that sound like a jab to Becky? Like, oh, you know, I'll pay for half. I'll pay for half. I just feel like it's another jab to Becky for the fact that she wasn't able to, you know, pay bills and stuff because she wasn't working. Her life and to explore the world and I cannot give her that right now. I can't. And it's so hard. Like, I'm not perfect by no means. Like, Feline wasn't fully happy either. I have a lot of freaking shit that I have to work on. Like, look at me. I can't travel with her right now and I want to give that to her. I want to be able to give But Amber, you had two years. Two years with the beginning starting with, wifey is such an inspiration to me. She's like the best girlfriend I've ever had. I've never had this kind of motivating force behind me and look at where you are now. You had two years to get your shit together, Amber. Two years. And you're still stuck in the same place, figuratively and literally. Give that to her. And this is the only way that I know how to do it. And a lot of people don't understand that, like, it wasn't one-sided. And there's just so many rumors going on. And I get it because of vagueness. And it's because some things, I do have boundaries. I do have boundaries. I do. And I want to continue. That's, that's a lie. That's a lie. You threw your own brother under under the bus. 
you know you've thrown destiny your favorite you've thrown destiny's um brother and her dad under the bus um you know you you then you know outed somebody as not being um as being poor so they couldn't buy food and then claiming that they were on a diet i mean you don't really have boundaries you don't you know You've talked about bleeding for two years and your gynae problems. You you don't have boundaries, Amber. You have because as soon as Wifey's gone, you'll be you'll, you'll be treating Wifey the same way that you did Becky. Those boundaries, but I do feel like I need to do my part in protecting what is true and versus like what is wrong. And it's like the conspiracies aren't true. None of them are true. None of them. Um, I just want to come on here. Sure, Amber. Like the conspiracies that you were bedbound in 2019 and you weren't showering. Those were just conspiracies until years later you confirmed that it was true. And let everyone know what is true and what is real and do my best to heal. And it's going to be hard to heal these next like three to five months, three to six months. There's a lot that I have to do. There is a lot I have to do. And I have. It is time uh, to talk about uh, the tofu eating wokarati. The... I've taken a few steps already um, because I am going to be moving and it's not going to be like. She says that, guys, but how many of you think that she's actually moving and how many of you think that she's like looking through the DMs for another caretaker so she can stay in the same place? You know, um, Amber doesn't put any effort in anything. She takes the easiest, laziest option. And the easiest option is staying in that same old house, staying in Kentucky with another nursemaid. Right off the bat, because I am very obsessive. Um, I had to move into this apartment very quickly. It's a little different because this apartment is about two hours away from where I was living before, but where I will be moving is in a completely different state. Um, it's gonna take me a couple days to even get there. So this is a lot more I's to dot, T's to cross, and I'm very obsessive in the sense of I need everything to be perfect. I want to get rid of a lot of the things that I own, whether that be Goodwill, right so that's one of the reasons she's making the video so that people will reach out to her to take the stuff but guys do you think she's really leaving do you think it's going to be kind of this my 600 pound life and then she's literally going to have to get go in a van because that that's what it that's what it kind of sounds like and they they have to go you know in a in a van or a modified vehicle and put a mattress down on the van floor and go to doctors now what got dr now's office in texas it, it, it sounds like that but i'll, I'll believe it when i see it because i'm still not buying that she's moving whether that be selling i kind of want to just like purge a lot of stuff and just a lot of things that hold like an item can hold so many memories I, I just don't want those anymore and I don't want clutter I just want anything that'll help me feel more at peace and less anxiety that's what I want she says that she doesn't want clutter but she's got like um a spending problem and a hoarding problem I mean, <laughs> I, want, I want more just at peace and it's going to be hard for me to get there. I have a lot I have to do. So my first thing was like, I have a weird way of trying to figure out um, certain things probably um, in the way that like a normal person would do things. Um, so my first two things that I was more worried about was, is my bank in the state that I want to go to? and it is so i wonder if she's going to live with her mother or a family member if she's moving check and then i also wanted to know because my accountant for taxes i have had the same accountant for about five six years now and i do not want a different one so i had to figure out 
um, if I'm able to keep the same accountant even if I live in a different state and thankfully I am so those for some reason were like two big stresses for me that were like super stressful um, I think the at least you know unlike foodie you care about ta paying taxes because <laughs> that's why that's why foodie is like still on the one in Kuwait not being able to pay her debts, pay her taxes, knowing that the tax man and every Tom, Dick and Harry is after her because she needs to pay uh, the these bills. <laughs> Next step is definitely going to buy boxes. Um, I want to buy boxes so I can slowly start. Ask Pete's for some of Box Mountain. Separating what I want to keep, um, what Feline wants to keep, what I want to give to Goodwill and what I want to sell. And it's just going to be like a long process. It's going to be tedious and I love tedious work. I personally. <laughs> <laughs> well, Amber, of course you love tedious work. Look at your channel for the last few years. Love moving. I love everything about moving I d I, besides finding the place. Wait a minute. I Wait, stop. That's a lie. If she loved moving, she would have she would have left Kentucky straight away when Becky called it quits. Though she hates moving. That's why she stayed in a place that she doesn't want to be in. She stayed in a place that she couldn't stand for two more extra years because she's too big to move. Come on. Yeah, trying to find somewhere that accepts three pets is very freaking hard. I got very lucky with this apartment because it is a luxury apartment and I know people lol at that, they giggle at that, they roll their eyes at, at that, but it is luxury apartment. Like this place is like literally if you look up the name of it, it's luxury. So um, it like says it in the name. I got very lucky with this apartment, but that doesn't mean I'm going to get lucky again. So um, I do want to just start. She got lucky. Isn't that all the more reason that she's going to stay? Uh, I'm I'm still not buying the moving arc. Like, for, you know, wifey's going to move, without a doubt. But Amber moving? Kind of getting things together. And if I have to live out of boxes for a little bit, that's fine. I just want to do whatever's going to make it easier for me. And whatever's going to make it easier for Feline. There's a lot that has to happen. This isn't like a messy breakup. Like, she wants to be there to help me. And I want her to be here. And I want to spend as much time with her as I can, like as a friend. And I know that she feels the same way. And I know that we're both hurting. So we're both being very like fragile with one another. And yeah, like I seem level headed right now, but I bet you- She doesn't sound too happy about that. Million freaking dollars at the minute I click this off, I'm just gonna be bawling my eyes out again. You can love someone with every single part of you. But does she love wifey or does she does she just need wifey? She needs anybody and that's sad. She doesn't love her. She just needs anybody there to look to look after her and make sure that if anything happens to her, they can call 911 or if anything, you know, if she needs help getting up, up off the couch or she needs any kind of assistance, she has 24 hour um, available assistance. That's that's what she loves. I don't think she actually loves the girl or loves the person. I think the only girlfriend that she really liked, really was into was Destiny. But no that it's just not not the right time it's not the right time for either of us right now and i know that and i think that's the part that hurts the most is that we could stay together but it was hurting being with her what does that mean? You know, or, or you mean wifey was hurting being with you and she wanted to leave. I'm, I'm still not buying this. It was mutual. I'm, I'm still not buying it, guys. That's really all I want to say about that. I don't know. I just don't know. It's hard when you think that you, like, are willing to accept, like, how a relationship is. So you're like, okay, this is going to be my life. This is going to be my future. And you were willing to accept that with Becky, even though you didn't love her and you were just using her. But then when something finally just like clicks in your head and you're like, no, wait, I can't, I can't accept 
this. And that goes for both me and Feline. Now we have to figure out what are our futures gonna be like because we thought we had that planned. You know, we knew where we wanted to. I, I don't think so, Amber. Like, you thought you had the future planned, but Wifey was always going to move on, in my humble opinion. To move, and we were gonna do that together. And now she's trying to figure out where she wants to go, and I'm pretty sure I know where I'm going, so it's like, now- Well, isn't she gonna go back home? To New York, I'm guessing? Her whole life was in New York, wasn't it? Oh, the future I thought we were gonna have, we're both trying to figure out a future without each other, and it's hard. Well, it's hard for you, yes, but it's not hard for her. It's very painful. But, yeah, I just wanted to give this update, and, um... I want to try my hardest to get back into, like, vlogs and stuff, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to do it, like... Hi guys, look at me eat my cottage cheese and mustard. Like, that feels so fake to me. That is why I also had to tell YouTube I could not, I could not go on with filming without telling you guys what just being completely fake. Like, <laughs> hey guys, look at this haul. Like, well, yeah, but you're usually, you're usually used to being fake, but it's like now some, this has happened, a real thing has happened and you can like milk it for a lot of money. So, you know, every cloud. No. No. I am going to end this video again. Thank you guys so much for the support and the kind words. Like, it means the world to me. Truly. Because this is a hard time. But I'm strong. <laughs> I've been through a lot in my life. And I know that Feline is also strong and she's going to get through it as well. She's, she's already over it. She's over it, Amber. I guarantee you. And, um, yeah. I will give you guys more updates soon. Um, I'm going to try to film and upload as much as possible. Because... In a weird way, this is also healing for me. Too. Well, and it also, you get a lot of money from it. To film. And to word bomb it and to just speak, 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 speak. So, anyways, I hope that you guys are doing good. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Okay, guys, that's the end of the video. So, guys, it looks like she's going to milk this probably t until the end of the year. There's going to be... 2,000 videos up about every second of how they broke up and when they broke up and why they broke up and you know how I felt and what, what what wifey felt and here's wifey here and now we're gonna talk about it together and now we're gonna do the breakup tag she is gonna milk this is the best these are some of the best views that she's had in a very long time and her likes are at a thousand you know this is some of the best some of the most um, popular content that she's had in a very long time and she knows this is going to bring the numbers knows this is going to bring the views and some big checks guys do you actually think amber is moving or do you think she's staying in the same place do you think she's going to plan a my 600 pound life trip or do you think she's bullshitting um let me know in the comments uh, you know, do you think that wifey feels the same way? She's just as heartbroken as Amber? Or do you think, you know, as soon as Amber was at a doctor's appointment, she threw a party and dropped it like it's hot? Okay, guys, um, thanks for watching. That lets me know. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching. Thanks for listening.